Hello again everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. I have to admit that recently I've not been playing Blitz as much as I normally would. And not because I'm fed up with the game or anything, but because I had other things that required my attention. Nevertheless, I did manage to finally pick up my iPad and roll out. And in doing so, a few things crept into my little brain. Okay, we have the new Polish heavies, which I actually like, with the exception of Tier 8. Mainly because I'm not a fan of Tier 8. Not because I'm not a fan of the tank, just the tier. And we also have the new event, where you can grab yourself two tanks for free, basically. Although, no doubt, quite a few people will drop some gold to grab hold of those tanks. I like events to an extent, mainly because I'm a tank collector and I still live by the old mantra, never knock a freebie. But I was somewhat confused over these two titans. I found the tier 6 titan, based on I think it's a crusader, or so it seems, to be pretty good. It's okay, it's nothing to set the world on fire. But the HN, which is based on a tiger, is just pants in my opinion. Now I like Tiger Tanks and all of its variants, maybe not the Icebreaker, but this thing just sucks. I mean it's got no gun depression, it's got really poor armour, it's got a long reload and it's got a terrible gun. Okay it looks cool, but what's the point of looking cool when your tank is a smouldering wreck? Well, okay. Now events always bring out a different type of player, those who don't play that often and actually play funnily enough, for the fun of the game, rather than chasing stats or such. And that got me thinking, and I need to ask you all a question. Do we have too high an expectation of this game? Well, yeah, 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 in the past I moaned about the tear rushes, and I still do, and I will continue to do so, because mm, I'm a human. But is the game really about great stats? I mean, what exactly are our expectations for this game? Is it to have some enjoyment and relaxation after the woes and tribulations of real life? Or is it to have great stats so we can put it on our next CV and brag about it at our next job interview like anybody's going to give a damn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having great stats is cool. It makes you look awesome inside the game. But that's about all it does. Now, ironically, Chasing stats can actually remove your actual enjoyment of the game and increase your overall frustration, which leads to rage. I mean, I hate to quote Yoda. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. But it's the same apply. Frustration leads to anger, anger leads to hate. Hate leads to toxicity. Now, okay, I get many of you out there who are now saying, but Fujit, you only say this because your stats are not that great. And, you cheeky little monkeys are right, my stats on paper look terrible. But never underestimate those with lesser stats than you. Because we can all totally surprise you. And I have done that numerous times against those with much better stats than me. Now, the current event notwithstanding, I have, however, noticed a change in the actual player base with regard to the skill level, and it appears that it's going down, and teams, especially in regular or random battles, sometimes appear to be less able to handle the tank and the tier than they used to. Now, this in turn made me think a little bit more, and I came to the conclusion that, hey, you know what, it's just a game there to entertain and to be enjoyed. And who am I to tell someone that they shouldn't play a certain tank or a certain tier? Oh, I will kindly point out to those who are clearly struggling massively that maybe they should drop a tier or two, but then why should they? And this brings me back to what are our actual expectations? Are we expecting to win every single game? Are we expecting to be carried by those better than us every game? Or are we content with just rolling out and doing the best we can? Well, I'm now falling into that latter category, rolling out 
and just trying to do the best I can within my skill and ability level. Now, sometimes I will fail miserably. We all do. And sometimes I will shine. And that's the thing. The game is not certain. And like all games, there are a lot of other things that really come into play. I, for one, am starting to see past the rage, past the stat chasing, and past everything other than doing the best that I can and enjoying myself whilst doing so. Yes, I will still moan about R in Jesus. I will still moan about poor teams and such and things, but that's normal. The thing is, I like to moan to myself rather than take the time and energy to type out some diatribe of hate in the chat because all that does is get you more het up and even more frustrated. Now I've always said that if you really are good enough to get those awesome stats, then in time you will get there because your skill and ability will eventually shine through and be evidenced. We can continue to blame the team, the RNG and such, but the fact of the matter is, if you have the ability and the skill, then it doesn't make an ounce of difference if the team around you is filled with pineapples, because your awesome skills and ability will shine through and you will guide your fellow pineapples during the battle. If only that were true. <laughs> and that's the point. Stop relying on those around you and focus on your own gameplay. Play your game. And where you see the need to use the chat, use it to direct and guide your teammates rather than rage at them. After all, that is what the chat is oddly designed for. Mm. Most of us, however, need to take a huge, massive chill pill and remind ourselves that within this game, there are going to be all kinds of skill levels, some good and some bad. But almost everyone is there to enjoy rolling out in tanks and blasting other tanks to bits. Now, I understand that there are trolls out there. You're not going to... Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. You know, on occasion, you're going to get complete and upper potatoes who are just there to ruin it for everybody else but that's life and they are the exception rather than the rule so the next time you roll out and there's some player there who's not very good and you know he's not very good stop raging at him point him in a direction that you think he should go and if you're really 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 that good tune with him impart some of your wisdom and knowledge onto him or her or them. I don't know who they are. And then maybe over time, you'll get less and less pants teams. Anyway, we'll see. That's been my diatribe of the day. Yay! I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. Because guys, at the end of the day, it's just a game, you know? It's there to entertain you. It's there to give you a little bit of escapism and all I'm seeing at the moment is just anger and remember that's never a good thing anyway until the next time guys thank you for watching and stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because at the end of the day that really is what it's all about having fun and being happy